Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're ready to try to find the heat flow through a spherical shell. Notice we have a sphere, we have a hollow sphere, the inside radius is A, the outside radius is B, the outside temperature is T sub O, the inside temperature is T sub I, it has a heat conductivity constant K, and the cross-sectional area in the equation, because this here is the equation of heat flow through heat conduction, notice that the cross-sectional area is the area through which the heat flows. And notice, since the heat flows the inside to the outside, the cross-sectional area will increase in size. It's not a constant. Hmm. So therefore, we're going to need to integrate. L here in the equation represents the distance, the heat flow, that would be from A to B. But of course, we know that A is not a constant, so we need to set up an equation, a differential equation, that we can integrate. So how do we do that? Well, like this. What we're going to do is we're going to imagine a very thin shell inside the sphere. Just a really thin shell. Notice that the distance to the shell, let's call that R, and the thickness of the shell, let's call the thickness dr. All right, so doing that, we can set up an equation. We can say that the heat flow Q dot through the shell is equal to the constant K times the cross-sectional area. Now, the cross-sectional area of the shell is going to be the surface area of the shell, and the surface area of the shell, which is a sphere, is going to be 4 pi r squared. So that's the surface area of the shell, and of course, that gets bigger as r gets bigger. The change in the temperature, that's going to be a dt across the thin little shell. So the very minute amount of temperature change, let's call it dt, and then the L is going to be dr. So we divide the whole thing by dr. So now we have two variables. Notice q dot is a constant, but r and t are the two variables, so we have to separate the variables, which means we're going to write it as follows. dr divided by r squared is equal to 4 pi k over q dot, those are all constants, times dt, the changing temperature. So to integrate that, we want to put the r squared in the numerator, so we're going to write this as r to the minus 2 times dr is equal to the constant 4 pi k divided by q dot and then times dt. And now when we want to integrate, notice we can integrate both sides of the equation like this and the r is going to be integrated from a to b and the temperature is going to be integrated from the temperature inside to the temperature outside although we like to have the quantity be a positive quantity so we're going to put the temperature inside at the top and temperature outside at the bottom so we have the higher temperature minus the lower temperature for a positive quantity all right let's integrate that means we get r to the minus one divided by the new exponent evaluated from a to b is equal to 4 pi k divided by q dot times the temperature evaluated from t outside to t inside. Plugging in the limits, and we're going to bring the negative 1 out, let's rewrite this a little bit. So this is negative 1 multiplied times 1 over r from a to b is equal to 4 pi k divided by q dot multiply times upper limit would be t inside minus t outside so we arbitrarily pick the limits to end up, end up with a positive quantity here and then when we plug in the upper and lower limits we get negative 1 times 1 over the upper limit 1 over b minus 1 over a and that equals 4 pi k over q dot times t inside minus t outside now notice that b is a larger number than a, so 1 over b is smaller than 1 over a. So subtracting 1 over a from 1 over b gives us a negative quantity. So when we multiply the negative 1 inside, we can then rewrite the equation. We can then say that 1 over a minus 1 over b, which is a positive quantity, is equal to 4 pi k over q dot times the difference in temperature, t inside minus t outside. And finally, since we're looking for q dot, that's what our purpose is here, we rewrite this as q dot is equal to 4 pi k over 
1 over a minus 1 over b, all multiplied times ti minus to. And what you could do is you could move things around a little bit. We can put that on the denominator. Ah, this is good enough. There's different ways of writing this equation, but we can probably leave it like that. So it's simply 4 pi k times 1 over a minus 1 over b, or I should say 4 pi k divided by 1 over a minus 1 over b times the difference in the temperature. In retrospect, as I look at this, we could actually write this over common denominator, so change this into b minus a over ab, and then move the ab to the numerator. So we could also write this as q dot is equal to 4 pi k times ab over b minus a times the difference in the temperature, t inside minus t outside. And finally, we could write this as q dot is equal to the difference in the temperature divided by b minus a, which is then divided by 4 pi k times a b. Got to be careful here. Let's put this in brackets. Now, if we write it like this, now we have written it in terms of q dot is equal to the difference in temperature between the inside and the outside divided by the heat resistance of that spherical shell. So I thought it might be a good idea to also express the equation in terms of this and in terms of this, just in case that's how you want to use it in the future. And that is how it's done.